Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Sunfisk and Chill. Today, the usual four of us, uh, me, Christian, Austin, and Patty, are here to review the amazing series exclusive on Amazon Prime called Invincible. Invincible oh, is a novel. Invincible is a graphic <laughs> novel <laughs> made about 20 years ago from the creators of Walking Dead. And it's a superhero show, but not not as all as it seems. So yeah. Uh it's I, exactly I, what it, it seems. It's basically a collab of the knockoff Justice League. Uh, and- no. <laughs> And it's space. That's what it, it is. starts off as a Spider-Man story, and, and then completely it's changes. Superman's kid and the knockoff Justice League. That's the entire. Room. That is. That, that, that is. That is there's no, there is nothing alike about any of that. Is so false. But it's if you like, do want to watch a good like show with Lois Superman's and, kids, it's, like Lois. it's Superman it's, it's, and here's Lois. The thing, here's the thing. It's Superman <laughs> and Lois and then their kid and then knock off, knock off uh, Justice League. What's Anyways, uh, if you ever want watch Superman and Lois, if you want an action, no, if you no, want no, no, actual no. Superman and kids TV show. Anyways, uh... There's nothing else I can really say about the show because it's just amazing and I don't want to spoil anything. It's but... an endearly it's an endearing family show. Yes. <laughs> it awesome. is good for it is good for all ages. Not all ages. <laughs> that is cap. All right, for it... the first 30 minutes it is good for all ages. Arguable. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, don't watch it next to your parents unless your parents like uh, Game of Thrones. Rated R things. I don't know what Game of Thrones has to do with anything, but well, it's like uh, four. So yeah, so that's the spoiler-free section because there isn't really much we can say about it. You're just gonna have to experience it for yourself. If you have access to Amazon Prime Video, which means that if you have, if you have Amazon Prime, you can watch this show as soon as right now. But actually, don't watch it right now because you got to watch the rest of the video. Unless you actually want to watch the show, you then you can. You just everyone who has it. Yeah. It <laughs> yeah, go. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Anyways, now we'll go into the spoiler section of the video where uh, things are amazing. So, uh,. I guess we have to start off with the first episode. It might have traumatized me Guardians for life. Guardians of the Globe die. All right. So uh, the first episode, <laughs> we get. Um, Wait, are we Mark really just gonna... and... No, okay. no, we are not. Mark yeah, and it's, Nolan it's, it's, and it's, Debbie it's, 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 are a fun family trio. The Guardians of the but Globe are the greatest a... superhero team of all time. Dead. Dead. <sighs> But there's a big secret that Nolan is Omni Man, the only the one strongest that die is superhero. Immortal in the... doesn't die. Everyone, immortal doesn't die. Okay, because he's immortal. Um, but Omni, he's actually Omni Man, the strongest superhero in the galaxy. Is he Superman? Mortal? The bootleg this Superman, is the Superman, or is Omni? Well, actually, he's not Superman. the strongest superhero in the galaxy. Oh, this the, is the strongest sp- superhero on Earth. This is the Superman parallels. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, continue. there's n- the only peril to him and Superman is that they're godlike and that they're that, strong. That is that, like it. It's everything. Literally everything. There's so much more to each character. Him and, <laughs> him and Omni Man and Debbie, Lois, same thing. There is a very, they have two very different relationships. Very, very well, different well, relationships. Not at the beginning. Not at the beginning. No, it's the. Not it's as a well very as it different. Seems. Yeah, it's still a different relationship. They did well, yeah. change it from the comics. Okay. It in the comics, it's a lot. He used the c yeah, word. Yeah. Omni Man doesn't care about graphic anybody, novel. It's anybody. a lot worse. Alan the alien is the best character in the entire movie. 
I just this said was a TV series, buddy. <laughs> yeah, this is a TV series. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not going to disagree, but it's a TV series. Alan the Elliot, what a guy. Well, um, episode one, that is the greatest opening to a series I think I've ever seen. You did not even, that's, you're, you're lying. That's not even, you said it was the worst thing you've ever seen in your life. I mean, because yeah, you, it did. Trauma- you despise. I know. Because it traumatized me. Because I was, was at a, oh, oh, I was not expecting. It traumatized me, and it, I thought it was terrible. And it's your fault for not watching the trailer. It's your fault for not watching the trailer. I did watch it. I watched the teaser trailer, but forgot I watched the teaser trailer. And yeah. <laughs> oh my! Because I remember, I remember, I remember seeing it Invincible on the thumbnail, and I watched it. I'm like, what is this? It's J.K. Simmons. <laughs> so I was like, "Ooh, interesting." It was like during the times when the Modoc stuff was coming out. I think I oh, that why? Too. Why is that gonna happen? <laughs> is, Mo- is Modoc just Marvel's response to Harley Quinn? No, it's their. Uh, uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. yeah All right, okay. uh, Invincible. <laughs> All right, so episode one is kind of just about how Mark finally gets his powers and we learn where Omni-Man come from, Viltramite, and we learn as of that moment that Viltramite is an endearing planet full of lovely citizens. Uh, Isn't it so, technically yeah. called Viltrum? Hey, are you just going to skip the I know, but... Die? That's the final part of the show! <laughs> it's the final part of the episode. I'm getting to it. Oh, we also have the Mahler twins, or the Mahler brothers, or whatever. They're great. Um, well, you see, they're not twins technically, because they're technically yeah, but, clones. But they're also technically so, like, twins. Well, they're but not. Who's, twins. They're not but twins. who's the clone? Mm. Well, it's well, yeah, they're it's technically clones. both clones. They're clones of each other. They're. One Not of them necessarily. Old, there could be an original the first... one that's been there the entire time. <laughs> and has survived every single time. In the comics, that does not happen whatsoever, but <laughs> no one cares about the comics. The comics are amazing. Just if uh, you people should read the comics. They're great. But <laughs> oh yeah. Um basically stuff happens. They set up the Guardians of the Globe so well that we, we get to see all, like, right before the episode ends, they're all, they're doing their own thing. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, this is great. We already, we have established heroes in this universe. Oh, this is going to be a great show. And then <laughs> the end of the show happens, and all hope for humanity is lost. At the no, moment. it's great. It's great. It's great. That is that's great. The twistiest plot twist of all plot twists. So then episode two happens. Mark meets the team team. <laughs> team team. With Adam team, team team. With Adam, Adam Eve, Rex Splode, and <laughs> Duplicate. <laughs> um and, uh, and robot. robot. And robot. And robot. Robot. Black Samson? Uh, wait, no, he wasn't. There. No, no. Then we see the Wasn't alien there a invasion. Thing? No, of, not yet. No, then we see the alien invasion of the Three Hawks times. Ooh, can't wait for that. And that's when the f- bad again. 3D models begun. I don't see the issue. <laughs> you don't I like see the issue. Every single time they pan out and zoom out to a widespread thing, they can't just... <laughs> The only time I saw it was in, the only time I saw it was in um was in the final episode. <laughs> that was the only time I noticed how bad it was. That is so much cap. Every time we watched no. it, I pointed it out every yes, time. Yes, and I, I keep on saying I don't see the issue every yeah, time you point it out. That, that, I, I didn't know what she's talking about. That is so much about, cap. But I kept on saying I don't see the issue because I didn't <laughs> see the issue with what he was pointing out to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So anyway, yeah, then Omni Man kind of just destroys the Flaxons. Yeah. Apparently, apparently, you don't see that in the comics. You just know he went in there. In the graphic novel, <laughs> um, in One the graphic was- novel, the Flaxons capture Omni Man, and then he just escapes and tears down their civilization, which then leads to tons of other things which we will be seeing in season two. Oh, Lord. Or season three, it depends on when they want the the epic twist to happen. But, okay. uh, Anyway, uh, yeah, that's... uh, That episode two ends with Damien Darkblood, who actually has, like, character in the show unlike the comics Mr. Krabs he's top three character if I didn't read the comics I might agree with you the issue is is that in the comics he's the worst character in the whole comics he is so bad he's literally just a joke he comes in for like a couple pages says like I'm going to solve this mystery and then comes in when the whole world already knows about Omni Man. It's like, I think I figured out who it is. And the secretary's like, Yeah, we already know. And then you just never see him again. Yeah, but he's an absolute so legend in the show. That's the devil guy for those who don't know the character names as well. Yeah. They you don't really know the character names. They don't really. They don't really tell you all the character names. Well, they do in yes, Amazon Prime. Do. You can see the voice acting, but like you know, they like, tell it to you so much. No, but like w- when you have like Omni Man on your mind, like whenever you're watching the show, because you know he did something very, very naughty. What he like, didn't do anything. <laughs> He's the purest of the pure. Yeah. <laughs> so I just have like. This society. Come on, guys. I just have the best worst relationship. He's like the best worst character because I absolutely hate him. But like I like that I I can absolutely hate him because I'm supposed to absolutely hate him. It's great. Uh, it's like if it's like if John Walker was good, you know. <laughs> Anyways, uh I was I was I was gonna address the elf in the room earlier. I was like it was uh, Never mind. All right, so then episode three happens. The Guardians of the Globe, uh, the thing, the the, the, the the funeral, and then the auditions, and then Mark first date with uh, Amber, maybe. Yes, yeah. Amber is right? her name. Okay, yeah. Um, with Amber, who's a much different character in the show than the comics. Um. And then he has to run off and deal with Had Doc Bucky Seismic. He sold a single time yet. Because Cecil. So yeah, Cecil, Cecil comes. is amazing. Cecil's like amazing. How yeah. do you not also mention the second best character in the entire series? Donald. Is Donald the one that makes the uniform? Is the the no. no. Oh. No, no. Donald is the That's guy it. that got blew up with the house with Omni Man. Oh, well, well, the guy that's the second best in the series, the guy that. The... Well, you know who on. plays him? He, oh, okay. I was okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, he makes the suits for everyone. It's gonna and be pretty great because he's actually oh, pretty big in the comics for half this, for half the, like the comics. And then you just no. never see him again. <laughs> Superhero show exists, Patty. You know the comics. <laughs> Any comics. Dude, yeah, well, I guess they're reading the boys comics. I, I gotta say something. There's the boys comics? <laughs> yes, that's what the boys TV show is, is made from. I thought... so. It's not original. It's a comic book series, yeah. The end of the, the, end of the show... Is lead, is foreshadowing the fact that Debbie and uh, Luke Skywalker are um, getting together? 
Um, How? See, this is what happens when we don't watch this episode of Austin. Because, the wrong ideas. because, because you see, they both drink from the same whiskey cup. The whiskey glass. That doesn't mean they're anything. Poor. They're poor. They're basically kissed. They're poor. They're obviously getting together. So Austin likes to ship a uh, random couple of people. Interesting. He's one of those type of people. Okay, anyway. Wait, does that actually happen? Wait. Episode four. No, 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 wait, no, 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 wait. Am I a genius? I'm, I don't think they ever, do they actually do it? Episode four, episode four. No, she just finds a random person. No, no, no. Is episode four, no, that's not the one where they go to They're just drinking friends. It's literally it. Is that episode four Mars or something? Yeah, yes, that's yeah. He goes to Mars, which is gonna set up a major plot point and character, which I can't wait. But I like the Mars don't one really was care probably the about weakest. Mars. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. So this is the point when like I started researching how to read the comics. How to read. <laughs> yes. Like, for free, because I was not going to, like, buy it. Like, I, I'm going to, of course, pirate it. Like, Hey. <laughs> you really? Mm. Never mind. Mm. Nothing. Uh, episode five was... Uh... I know that's what that six, was uh... more. Episode five was the um, Titan. Oh, yeah. With, he's a character. The, with one of the greatest characters, Battle Beast. That oh, Battle Beast. Battle Beast. Is Battle Beast. Dumb. Oh my God, he's amazing. He's amazing. He's he is dumb. amazing. He is amazing. He's he is plot amazing. device. The character. No, he is one of the greatest characters. He's also <laughs> one of the strongest characters. You know what's interesting is that I I like how. Mark Grayson, he like continuously fails. Like literally every single he's like such a well, failure. Yes, that that, that and that's it's his old great. Arc. That's and his old great. arc. Yeah, and it's great because No, he's invincible. He can't be a failure. Yeah. How does he fail, Jackson? He's invincible. Be- yeah, it's he's iron. Invincible. No, it's not. He's invincible. He's invincible. <laughs> he hasn't died. It's a, he's invincible. Did you watch the eighth episode? He is not invincible. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, yep. He didn't die. That's the point die. of invincible. He is invincible. <laughs> Even though the dummy man may or may not have like mercied him, but yeah. No, Omni Man is a Viltrum, but he doesn't show mercy. Obviously. No, what do you mean? Viltrumites are very nice people. Oh, yeah, they are. Anyway, uh very nice mm-hmm. people that don't show mercy in battle. Those homers. Episode six, we get a uh, funny Flash Man, Loki Man making cyborg robots. Man. Oh yeah, that at least was one. Okay, no, I was I'm wrong. That was the worst episode. In this <laughs> what? That was amazing. All right, that was amazing. That it's oh, that was amazing. That that, that guy was so, amazing. D A Sinclair. Ooh. Sinclair is amazing. Okay, here's the thing. It was it was it was a good episode. It was just kind of sus. That's all I'm gonna say. Sin- about you. Ah, so you don't like gay characters? I see. Nah, nah, are you nah, homophobic? Nah, I guess you're homophobic. Weird, bro. I guess you didn't you're homophobic. Make it weird, bro. Patty, you didn't have to make it weird, bro. <laughs> oh, That's not no. what I said. It's not taking it out of context. <laughs> Well, out of context, you said it was kind of sus. It was sus. It was sus. Okay. In the comics, they hint at Williams' sexual that he's like gay for like the whole comic series until like the very end, and then they finally come out that he's gay. But it takes like the whole comic series to actually like develop this. That's probably because of at the time. Well, but, yeah, uh, in 2003, anyways. 2004. <laughs> anyways, uh, episode seven, 
the best one of the series, in my opinion. Wait, wait, it was when Amber we, did, oh. we skipped. We skipped six with the, the skyscraper no, heist. Oh wait, no, we didn't. Never mind. That was five. You're right. You're right. We need to talk. All right. So episode seven. We need to talk. Amber amazing. is a terrible character. I agree. I don't know if she's better in the comics, though, because in the comics, she's also a terrible character. So basically, Amber is what like the invincible. Is just the, Amber is the most I petty person I've ever seen in my life, and she's basically like the invincible. Oh, I already knew you were invincible, but that doesn't excuse you for saving the world while you could have gone to my... the history of the Earth, Christian. Well, no, that's What was it, the every... food pantry thing? That's No, that's literally every single... Uh, whoever date no it's every single person that dates a superhero ever it doesn't matter if it's girl <laughs> man non-binary it doesn't matter it's every single person that dates a superhero and is not and does not know that they're a superhero right away but she knew she literally that knew that. again that's what the creators want you to think all it, all it is is just like, oh, yeah, I knew the whole time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, I'm perfectly fine with that, you know. Oh, yeah, we forgot that this whole time uh, the Mahler brothers are kind of like they escaped from prison with the help of Robot. robot. And then Robot is creating a new body uh, because his actual name is Rudy Dose. and he creates Rex. Like little Rex, and it's kind of hilarious. The whole entire, it's, uh, we'll get to it. That's a then great he arc. Goes, then Rex and then they, explodes, just nope. explodes on Rudy about oh, why, why did you do this? You and know what's pretty most, great. You know what the mo- you know what the most weird sauce part of the whole series is the fact that Adam Eve, the next time she sees Rex explode, just automatically just. What? Like, yeah, what that makes sense. No, it doesn't. She hates yes, it. it does. And she she never, did. She they never did. Showed, they never showed her the reason why he, she liked him again. She I doesn't think it like him. It's just... Worried about them. Yeah, she's worried about Mark. She's worried about them. Did you now so, watch the fa- waterfall scene? Like, I know that it was so action-packed when they were in the center of the um, yeah, on the she waterfall. was so worried. No, because Mark asked her like yeah. about Rex, and she's like, "That's not the reason yeah. why I'm out here." So, boom. That's why Episode Seven is amazing. Boom. And then they just Arnie Man is just on a mission. <laughs> He's on a mission, and then they throw everything built up to this moment, and everything they they threw everything at him. Like there were some things we Except didn't know Battle about. <clears throat> what? They can't. Battle Beast is his own person. And then they can Battle Beast rule everything. The government doesn't have control of Battle Beast. Who does? Battle Beast. Well, then how'd they get him to come to fight Invincible? No, that wasn't the government. That was because the. Yeah, first of all, that wasn't the government. That was a gang. Mem- that was the gang head that said, hey, you'll have, like, a great fierce battle if you come fight for me. And he did. And then Omni-Man he, then he like, like easily battle. destroyed everybody. The government doesn't know how to contact Battle Beast. Battle Beast is in an alien planet defeating small little aliens, as we see at the end of Episode 8. Yeah, True. Christian. Your your logic for that you're is kind of an idiot. Yeah, is is terrible. Like I I know I get what you're trying to say. Like oh why is he just there for that one scene? But like how the heck would they have known to how to tell? Because he's that? one of the strongest aliens. He's a villain. They about that stuff. Know. Christian, okay. he's a villain of the Gar- He's one of the main villains of Guardians of the Globe with all the villains of the Guardians of the Globe. So, uh, uh, did, no, he is not. He comes in like one time, and the only time they that sent, was for was for they Invincible. They sent a kaiju, which was a villain at one point. Yeah, but that's because they had they. Yeah, they, but that's because they had him under like their control, basically. Battle Beast is out in space, somewhere. They don't have his 
phone number and could be like, hey, <laughs> call, help us. Ooh. Yeah. They don't have that. <laughs> well, anyway, Cecil's an amazing character. Now the uh, alien has that. But Cecil's like toned down Omni Man. It's like you want to hate him, and then you're also like, I really like this guy. <laughs> character oh just wait until he gets worse he and can't better get worse at the same time <laughs> oh nice cecil becomes this he becomes a good character but like terrible He's, morals he seems very 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 paranoid but you know for good reason anyways oh, very uh, good reasons um yeah and then we need to talk and then Omni Man goes on this whole monologue about epic of epic proportions about what we know about, about Veltramite, yeah. Yes, and how they try to they they really, really wanted to be like Thanos and take over the <laughs> Yeah, how they, they killed each other for so they long. They killed half their hot population mm-hmm. and then it's literally it's literally Star Wars. Meets Thanos. Meets no, it's just Thanos. Shay Jonah Jameson meets <laughs> everything. <laughs> it's literally the DC trying to do Marvel, but not DC because it's not Justice League, but it's the fake Justice League and it's the fake Superman. Interesting. <laughs> so uh, that that was the worst. That was <laughs> the worst explanation of Invincible <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> um. Well, you see, Omni Man doesn't have a weakness from what we know now, besides his humanness. But anyways, no, his weakness is kryptonite, obviously. No, Epis. No, it's yeah. built your might. <laughs> you you technically aren't wrong, but <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, krypton, kryptonite, so... built your built your might. I'm actually a genius with this parallel. Uh, Anyways. <laughs> so, episode eight, it really hits you with the uh, very heavy themes. And you you want you want to be like, Omni-Man has a good point. But then you're like, no, Omni-Man's bad guy. So then you're like, no, 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 no. no. We and have are to you save ever humanity. like, Omni-Man has a good point? Wait. Well, be- well, no, because he's not. <laughs> what is going no, on in your mind? No, because he's, as I say, it's the best worst character. He's not wrong that everyone will be dead, but you know that's a very bad way of thinking about the situation. <laughs> Jason, are you gonna kill all of us? No, 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 not at all. Gonna try to take over the planet? No, 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 no. I would never do that. I would lock your door, Patty. I'll lock mine. And then Omni Man is like the train scene. Like it's kind of like Spider Man too, because you know J. Jonah Jameson's from the movie. He's like, we need a train scene, because that's totally not in the comics. Where it's technically, and then the the whole fight in the comics is just like you just see flashes of them go by and kill thousands and millions of people. Pictures or something. Yeah, but you don't. (laughs) You don't see like them. You don't see. You don't see Omni Man hold up Invincible, and have dozens of pictures like show it. All it is is that they just crash through a subway. Well, yeah, Patty, they crash through really buildings. Comic book. They did. They've done that in this series before. They had like a seventy-page comic, in one of the one of the comics, which just like. 30 pages being huge pictures. Well, They've done it before in the series, so it wouldn't be the... Well, it would actually technically be the first time, but... Yeah, so Omni-Man is... Uh, he is... He's the, he's the best character in the series. Just by far. It's like... It's like, like Omni-Man's like all the way up here in like characters, and then it's like Invincible's like here. And then the, well, actually the the, the old Guardians of Globe they're like up here, and then the new no. Guardians of Globe they're they're a little bit down there. Do so, Rex yeah. explode is amazing. So yeah, Omni Man just dips because of the baseball flashback, which I really liked. And then when they showed his face, and was like, whoa, 
And then they did random uh, images and then fade the black image, fade the black image of that. Because, you know, sometimes you run out of budget in your uh, animation. <laughs> <laughs> then we get and, then, like, event. Oh, yeah. Then and we then get the tap the water. White room. Oh, my God. That is one of the most iconic rooms in the comics. That is so great. Like, so why is, like, in the matter of, like, in the span of, like, a month, like, you have two completely different projects. You have Godzilla versus Kong, and you have Invincible, both talking about how, both talking about the effects of tap water. Okay, one actually shows that it's real, the other is stupid conspiracies. <laughs> where the guy goes, you never drink tap water because they're Nazis trying to get into your head. That was the stupidest line. There were so many stupid lines of the movie, but that was a very, very, very stupid line. <laughs> Anyways, uh... It wasn't necessarily wrong. It's very wrong. I mean, I, I mean, guess I'm a Nazi. Please, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I drink tap water. I guess I'm a mind control Nazi. Someone please make a clip of Patty saying he's a Nazi. Please. <laughs> Oh well, God. Uh, the white room. <laughs> I, gonna, gonna, I guess I'm getting canceled on Twitter, guys. <laughs> the white room, um, the void, you know. Well, two things. The first thing is that it's better well, than whatever what was, void was in the Mortal Kombat movie. He was basically movie. a Nazi, and he was poisoning everyone by not letting them see everything in the world. No, there's uh, a Nazi in the boys. Of course there is. Anyways, uh, she's like 200 years. Do we old. have any more in the white room? We find out that the guardians of the globe are coming back. Jackson, please, uh, I don't want to spoil it's anything. Just they're, immortal. They're, it's just they're immortal. literally just immortal. It's just they immortal. can't bring any of the other characters back. No, wasn't the wasn't the they had the, they coming had the back? Other guardians there. They had, what? Like, the no, one green was, all they had was immortal. All they no, had was immortal. No. There wasn't there like a purple thing and a green thing or something. No, no. Well, immortals the only, unless they change Immor- it from a comic, which immortal. I don't see it. The only ca- original Guardians of the Globe member that actually comes back that does not get like another person takes the costume or something is immortal. I'm looking right now, so keep talking. Um, I mean, we may so, or may yeah. not see other people take the cowl, but take the what? The cowl? Yeah, the cowl. Yeah. The costume. The cowl. Yeah. The cowl. Like you know the headpiece that man has that goes into the shoulders. That's called a like, cowl. That's, that's a cowl. Yeah. Yeah. What? I mean, it is from the best. It's just like Darkwing of all time, but it's like Darkwing's out. Darkwing is amazing. Um. So yeah, Invincible. We all need to give ratings. Also, I really like the title card thing that they do. Although I hated it, but then I started to like oh, it. Oh, amazing! But then you I saw it. complained about that every single. Yeah, episode, even though Jackson. I love it, it's amazing. And then me and Patty were like, "Oh, it was pretty amazing." Every time you were like, oh, it's so terrible. I hate it. I don't know, but until episode seven. Oh, because God. Cecil said it, but you know. <laughs> um, did they, they also wanna... change? They, so the they changed. Jackson has said everything that he hates, he likes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Christian, so did you brave. find anything? Okay, so. They have Immortal there, and then they also have, you know, like, the one green alien that's, like, a bootleg Martian Manager? Okay, so you have to show the yeah. image, they because like they don't believe us. one of those things. It could be, like, a different species of it or something. I don't know. But that's also <sighs> there. That, Christian, we the hear image. nothing about the green Martian thing, the green like- thing that we hear nothing about that, like, in the comics for, like, the whole... You see him once, and then you don't see him ever again. I don't think it's. I don't think it's that. I think it's the. Well, I think it's the girl because I don't know. 
Man, like, how do you like girl? There's two girls. The green one, like the, the fully one that green. Has the gem yes, that the one that just. And That's the one like Christian was talking about. The... Oh, like the invisible one. No, oh, this isn't the but, fan yeah. four stick. No, the, the one, one that turns about... green. The one yes, about... and she yeah. becomes invisible. Invisible. Yeah. Anyways, uh, why did they? Oh my god, they had to give everyone all these backstories. They sprinkle in some backstory, and then they all die. <laughs> Oh yeah, wait, can we also talk about the epic, uh, uh, the epic end credit scenes of the Which there's a lot of end uh, credit the, scenes. Just all the I don't know what happened. I don't know what any of that even end. means. I don't even know what oh, any of that I means. I do and I love it. I wait, love there was every end... second of it. Well not No, end he's talking credit, about it's like he's talking about the end. montage at the end where yeah, they're showing with, like Oh, Doc the... Seismic getting his army, and then yeah, you like, get uh, what is that, that, even that is amazing. To be? That is amazing. That is amazing. Um, what else? Do you have these the... guys, Mars, alien, yeah. black, uh, the black eye things, yeah, something of well, I mean, Alan, the oh, yeah, then we see about... the Chinese gang come to oh, yeah. Titan, Alan, the alien. Wait, 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 wait. What was the Chinese planets. game from? What was the Chinese game from? Or gang from? That's Just from, China? Remember the random person with the dragon powers from the elevator? Yeah, but were they in anything no. else that I should know about? No. no they they oh, will God. be, but... Oh, no. So, basically... Best character from the movie. The movie Not that is movie. the movie. The movie will be out eventually, you know. It'll, okay, it'll... I don't know what you guys are talking about. I green thing. There was green... no, the only green thing that was there was like an emerald. And that had no, not, to not, do the, with not the emerald stuff. I'll show you at the end of the video once we're done. You show us right now. That's copyright. You show us this. That's copyright. That's copyright. It's it's just copyright. Might as well just finish up the video. All right. Well, so they change a lot of Omni Man stuff in the from the comics. Like in the comics, one the Guardians of the Globe get obliterated in ten seconds. They stand literally no fight whatsoever. They get just obliterated. And uh, Omni-Man this is, this is not a this suspect. This is your bias. This is your bias. This um, is your bias. What? It's your bias against the Guardians of the Globe. No. Yes, Listen. No, yes, I is. just... Because in the comics, they're useless. I mean, Red Rush but is amazing, is... but he's not coming back. Like, oh, I'm red and I'm not Flash whatsoever. So Patty must love me, right? <laughs> yes. I love all speedsters. <laughs> but... <laughs> Um, but yeah, in the comics, they get obliterated in two seconds. Um, in the comics, no one has an inkling that they think that Omni Man actually did it until he does the whole spiel with Mark. Um, that's that's just not as cool. That's just like lower. Tier. I mean, it's fine. Be in the no, comics it, because it doesn't. <laughs> It doesn't like take a long time for it to happen. It only takes a couple of issues, so that's fine. Like you have like the first six issues is just developing Mark and the family, and then the Guardians of the Globe incident happens, and then you're like, "What? Well, well, what's happening with Omni Man?" And then all of a sudden, Omni Man explains it a couple issues later. It's like, ah, but well, I like the whole tension of Omni Man and Phoenix because and I really, really I mean that is that tension is that, kind of gets even more built up in the comic because Debbie is even more heartbroken because she doesn't have an inkling of an idea. All of a sudden she hears that especially because Omni Man still wanted to talk 
with Debbie in this and was like, it's fine. I'll tell you the truth. It's all, everything's going to be fine. In the show, in the comic, he literally does not care for her whatsoever. He doesn't even say, I still love your mom. He just says, she's like a pet to me. And that's it. In the show, he says, oh, I still love her, but more like a pet. In the comic, he has like no real feelings for her whatsoever. So it's even more heartbreaking to Invincible. <sighs> um, and to Debbie, which then she kind of just becomes an alcoholic for the rest of the series, or for the next 20 issues. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> um... I mean, it's not bad because it's, I mean, it's in her character, especially because she literally didn't work a day in her life up to that point. Like, she wasn't a realtor. At that point in the comics, she didn't work because they were getting so much money from the government and from Omni Man's books. So, well, uh, it's time for the final rankings. And then Amber, we really don't meet Amber until after Omni Man is revealed. So, well, Amber is amazing. So, uh, on to the rankings. Does anyone want to go first? I'll go first. What am I okay. ranking? You're ranking, ranking the rating. complete order. Rating, of one- not ranking. Um, anyways, uh, I will rank the series a solid 2 out of 10. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Give me calls. Give me calls. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll, I'll rate it a, a solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. I'll give it a nine out of ten. Purely. Awesome because- liking something. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Also liking something that isn't Russell Westbrook or the 49ers. Interesting. Or the Thumb. Oh, Russell Westbrook. The 49ers. What? What? Russell Westbrook. <laughs> I am co-host, so choose your next words. Nice. <laughs> <Elias>. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Okay, now it's time to kick him. Now it's the kick oh, him. It's kick time him. Kick it's him. It's time, time for him to leave. It's we time for him to leave. No, just just remove him from the He disabled zoo. my video. <laughs> remove him from the zoo. Anyways. He, he uh, said his rating. He doesn't need to be here anymore. Russell Westbrook. He's really awesome. I'll go next. <clears throat> um, <laughs> move on from the Zoom, Jackson. I'm gonna give. He doesn't need this, to be here anymore. I'm gonna give Invincible season one. Uh, nine out of ten. Uh, wow. Lots of fun. Recommend it. Lots Super of fun. Up. Wow. You know, oh, wow. big shot. Big shot is objectively better, but you know, it's it's all right. <sighs> Weren't you like dissing up that show like a couple weeks ago? That was me at the end. I yeah. said it was amazing, Patty, from the start. From the start, Patty. Ah, yes, even though you were dissing it with me a couple weeks ago. I never dissed it with you. Oh, well, yes, you did. I Not bet either. Austin can't name one character from the show. Coach Corn. I really hope that's not his name. It is. How do they ruin Jesse? Name anyway. two characters from the show. Um. <laughs> Coach Corn's daughter. Okay, let's so stop. That's. Did, but do you know her name? Is it Emma? He does know two characters. Yeah. Oh, wait, what is Coach Corn's first name? I don't know. They don't call him by his first name. The entire... Oh, well, you don't. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know, don't do know if we can let that one slide. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can we talk talking about Big Shot? We're about to finish this. <laughs> anyway. <Yeah. laughs> uh, I'll go. I'm going to rank Invincible a nine. Oh. Point. Stop doing oh. decimals. That's such a cheat. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a 10 scale. We might as well do a 100 point scale at that point. 9.9999999999999999. Kick it. That is my ranking. You see, 
Invincible is amazing. It this is, is the man that complained about it the most out of any of us four. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Well, you see, it's this called is for the man Jackson will always ever watch the, the episodes first out of all of us, though. This what? is also the man that said Except for the first three. I watched the first three episodes first. What also, the only was... reason why Jackson watches it first is because I usually wait to watch it with you guys. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd be watching it Thursday night <laughs> when it first comes out. I watched one of the episodes on Thursday night. Anyways, yeah, 9.99999. Something, a lot of nines out of 10. It is amazing. The Guardians of the Globe are the greatest team, like, ever. And, yeah. Like, I, I could watch that first scene, like, a million times in the first episode. This band likes fake Wonder Woman. The best. No, 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 no. Yes. I like... My favorite Guardians of the Globe member is... I really like Darkwing. Darkwing or Gilgamesh. Oh, he likes fake... Bat- he likes fake... Fake Nightwing. Fake. You may or may not see a ear of a bite anyway. of something of either of them. <laughs> okay, uh, Patty, you may uh, rank the series. All right. I definitely think the comics are a little bit better, but I would give the comics like a solid 12 out of 10. So. <laughs> that um, does compute. Oh, it does all. If Jackson oh, gets used to some of those, I can use past 10. We're completely destroying the point of the 10-point scale. <laughs> yes, we are. But, um, so I was actually the first one to watch Invincible out of all of you. I watched the first three episodes first, and I was hooked the moment I watched that ending scene of the first episode. Then I just knew I had to try and read the comics, and I did, and they're absolutely amazing. But uh, for the show, I have to give it a solid 10 out of 10. It does a lot of things right. I There's not much wrong, except Amber character, but that's such like a little wrong that I really don't care. You don't like so- help people helping soup kitchens, Patty? Wow. Wow, Patty. That Eve was so there insensitive. too, and Eve is a great character. That is so, so insensitive. Oh my goodness, Patty. Do you think okay. Amber's a good character? No. So you don't like people helping out at soup kitchens no, either? No, 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 no. I don't think she's a bad character either, though. So I'm not insensitive. So you don't... <laughs> okay. Are we done here? Can we stop the video? <laughs> I see. Next thing you know, Patty's gonna, anything else? Next thing you know, Patty's gonna be like, "Oh, Invincible!" Like amazing. and subscribe. Comment <laughs> down below. What else you want to see? Yeah. All right. See you guys.